in eight Americans develop breast cancer. Annual walks and runs raise awareness for the disease, but a group in Chicago is taking a different approach, a breast cancer comedy show. TV 1055's Adriana Diaz sat down with the woman known as the Cancer Queen of Comedy. It's my first time doing comedy. This was Nikki Martinez's stand-up debut five years ago. And I'm trying not to die. You weren't a comedian your whole life. No. How did this start? Cancer. <laughs> the Chicago office manager was diagnosed with stage 3 breast cancer in 2010 on a Wednesday. By Monday, doctors had removed her left breast. That's when I decided I would make cancer my career. And the jokes started flowing. Doesn't cancer equal skinny What the hell do I have? <laughs> You're going on a stage. And cracking jokes about it. <laughs> That's my way of giving it the finger if I can say that on camera. <laughs> Comedy producer Mike Okendo gave Nikki her first shot. He hosts an annual breast cancer charity show. Maybe 10 to 15 of our regular audience members at some point or another are dealing with it. Nikki underwent 12 rounds of chemo and 33 radiation treatments. At this year's show, she shared some news. Unfortunately, my cancer came back in 2012, and I currently have tumors from my scalp, down my neck, down my spine, down my hips. Where do you find your strength? My daughter. Definitely my daughter. Um, I cannot leave her. I'm not ready. Doctors say it's terminal, but Nikki plans to keep them laughing. She says she's cornered the market. You're not going to find too many healthy women that's going to whip, whip off a wig and, you know, a fake boob. So that is probably the only advantage. Just, you know, can't really steal my jokes. <laughs> the comedian says she also recites the Miss Nikki promise, encouraging her audience members to get checked on a regular basis for breast cancer.